It's color coding, man. Sienko team for Chris G. Chun Li and Ishenko. I put them both in like top bottom three of the game. Yeah, he doesn't give a crap. That's why. Oh yeah, he's gonna tag out. Show me some legs, baby. Oh yeah, there, there's a Swedish Chun player. Like, I still think the character's really bad, but he was doing sick combos. Uh, they're really difficult, aren't they? Her combo. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, two. Oh, that wasn't the aerial one. Come on, man. Don't press buttons when Shenko's coming. I didn't know Chun Li had a crumple. Like, because you literally never yeah, see her. Yeah, you never see Chun. You never see Chun. There's not that many people that have crumples, actually. It's only really Nova, Chun, Iron Fist. Firebrand? No, it's, his isn't a crumple. His, his, uh, he's got an unblockable, he doesn't have a crumple. But what, what's he doing when, like, I've seen Zack play him and Doom just get, gets in and continues with, it, with his combo, like. Oh, that's that's a kidnap move. Where it, it's like, it's it's a, a hit grab, where it, which goes into an a, uh, animation and leaves them in hard knockdown. So you have enough time to raw tag and, and uh, pick oh, him up with Oh, it's hard knockdown, okay, yeah. yeah. He, shouldn't have, he shouldn't be giving Shenko space at the beginning like that, like that, because it's obvious what she wants. This 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 means nothing because, like for for once, Frank Rice actually has to be careful because Nishenko's assist doesn't care. Oh, he got hit by the overhead. Got grabbed again. He's got the near assist for Frank West. Maybe he's got. He maybe he made a mistake. Although, despite despite how the match might be going, he's doing all right. I mean, if you look at his health, they're actually pretty even. Do something with that bomb, man. Activate Sagemu or something. He just tried to run away with zero. Yeah. What, what's that it about? It works. It works. It works. I mean... But it, he's zero. He's supposed to control the match. Yeah, if he gets a touch. So, if he's got lightning loops down... Actually, no. Hishenko is golden armor right now, so he can't run he can't run uh, standard pressure. And I think he's just not used to that, he's just pressing buttons. When otherwise he would be safe. Oh. Nice defense. Oh, uh, he must have thought his roll crossed up. Wow! He's just going left, this right, left, right, man. He's just having a laugh right now. He's just joking, he's having the time of he's his life, He's just saying for the man. cheese and chips, maybe. The Dutch do some serious chips, man. About apparently, Chris G only eats fries <laughs> and cheese. So he'll, he'll have a great time here. When he's to fight, yeah, he will definitely. Uh, I'm sure he wanted the raw <laughs> He used the he used the golden armor to go through whatever she was doing. That must be so off-putting, because usually these are characters, Frank West and, and Phoenix Wright, they're characters that can, when they're, when they're in the right position, when they've got X-Factor, when they've got level 4, when they've got Dark Phoenix, you, you can usually just go nuts and press whatever the hell you want. So being forced to show some restraint by an assist, that must be a first for him. Have you noticed, um, whenever you see the Dutch play that, whatever things don't seem to go right for them, they, they tend to switch teams a lot? Um, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't seen that much Dutch play in Marvel specifically, so... Yeah, yeah. but like, just, just from what I've witnessed at, of the stream so far, I yeah. noticed that whenever these players tend to lose, they... Try and they, find they, a different solution. Off. Yeah, pretty much. And even, even Takari did it at like Bushido last year. Which I can't believe was so long ago already. Yeah, when was that? That was that was December or November? No, no, no way. It was it was like it was um, it was last year August, I think. August? Yeah. No, I can't it be was, August. It was yeah, I remember because I couldn't go to I forty seven because I had to go to Bushido the uh, the week after. Damn. So that was a long last time ago. Oh well, match point to Chris G. Let's see if you can uh, 
Yeah, he probably Close out the three zero. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll take a while though. This guy tends to <laughs> tends to run away. Yeah, I don't I don't think he knows what to. He doesn't like. He doesn't like. Seem to like the pressure. I don't know. It's like half of it as well. It's just losing to such. Sienko's just ch yeah. ch carving people up right now. Exactly. I don't know what I'd do if I uh, if I was if I was in this position losing to Golden Armashenko. This is probably a good way for Chris G to warm up actually in a, in a tournament by playing yeah. a multitude of different characters while you know against relatively safe opponents. Yep. Although I don't see what relevance playing Shenko gives him. Oh, well, I don't nice know. If, if you just it just I think it will just make him keep him sharp. You know, just playing oh, loads of different it. characters. That was a nice throw. This I think I think uh, I think uh, Kenny's getting his uh, composure back because he's making some really nice decisions. X Factor. I right, take this game. No, you can still take this. You can still take this. Yeah. Uh, oh Wait, no! What? Oh no! What's you gonna do, brother? Oh, okay. You were going nuts in the crowd right get, now. You managed to take a game. You managed to take a game with some solid play. See that? He, that's his first mistake every single time. He keeps giving Shenko space. He, you, if you know what your opponent wants. Then you should maneuver yourself to to, to be most benefit you. So if you know that all he wants to do is just get back and, and activate Gold Knob and Raw Tag, either wait for the Raw Tag or you know make sure that he doesn't get the opportunity to to do the hyper. Oh a nice block on that overhead. That that move is weird, because even though it's so slow, it's still it's sometimes it just crosses up and you just get hit by it. Got hit, trying to walk back. Probably afraid of like an overhead or something. I hear, I hear the Dutch have a really good um, X23 player called Traumatisch. Traumatisch, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And which I think, which I think is Dutch for traumatic. traumatically, yeah, as opposed to traumatic. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that because, like, she's what X23 is one of those theoretical characters that should be great, should be used more because they have such obviously cheap stuff but you don't really see. Uh, Moreno described it as literally just a grounded version of where, whatever Zack does with Firebrand. Okay, that sounds Which, interesting. Yeah. And scary at the same we time. Haven't, we haven't seen, we haven't really seen much of... Um, nice, nice scratch medium. The Dutch players that have been in their trailers, you know? In the uh, RFD trailers, we saw Nindo play Denny, but I think that was about it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, prior to the actual tournament, yeah. we haven't seen much of them. Yeah, N Nindo uh, got cleaned up by uh, DC. So. Yeah, and then I wish I knew the name of that Dante player that that Chrome had to play because, like, do you start with an M? Oh no, that's the second player I'm thinking of. Sorry. Yeah. This is the first time I've I've ever seen the Shushenko combos. <laughs> Really? Chris, Chris is a Sienko. Huh? That's why Chris is a Sienko. Yeah, but he doesn't really... He plays her to troll. He doesn't actually do... Oh, you think he's not playing her as a troll? No, he plays her as a troll. <laughs> he's just uppercutting now. He's just... He's won, he's won. He's singing in the rain, baby. Oh! One one button games. He's literally just doing sure you can, sure you can, and down hate. Oh, man. Trish is done. It's a wrap. Ah, oh, that's a weird cross up. <laughs> that was cool though. That was fun to watch. Yeah. So that's that's the end of that pool.